Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Summer Scott Selections here for Monday, October 25th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a mediocre day as we went one and one for 0.00 units, broke directly even. But to go through those two plays, play that I yesterday gave up Mahomes over 323 and a half passing yards at minus 113 on FanDuel, and that was a sweat free loser. Mahomes, I believe, had 41 passing yards in the first half. Kansas City couldn't move the ball against Tennessee's defense. A lot of problems going on with the Chiefs right now, but Mahomes ended up getting injured anyway in the fourth quarter. But it wasn't close, but picked up a sweat-free loss there, but ended up winning the joint NFL show play with the Bears and Buccaneers under 47 at plus 100 on Fox Bet. So once again, one and one for 0.00 units, and we'll look for a winning day here on Monday. Before the play today, we'll be looking at hockey. It's going to be a matchup taking place between two teams that actually just played against each other, and that's going to be taking place at around 8 p.m., Eastern time, and it's a matchup between the Kings and the Blues. And for the play today, we like the over five and a half goals at minus 108 on Bet Online. Time recording of 1 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, Coverton's why I like the over in this spot. First of all, the Blues had a bit of an interesting offseason. They ended up trading for Buchanevich from the Rangers, very solid goal scorer. And people thought that St. Louis was going to trade their best goal scorer in Vladimir Tarasenko as a result. However, the Blues ended up keeping him. And so far, St. Louis's offense has looked absolutely insane up to this point. The Blues are averaging a league-high 5.5 goals per game. So just to recap that, you have a full game total where both teams are expected to score around 5.5 goals, which is why the over-unders at 5.5. And, and yet one of these teams is averaging exactly 5.5 goals per game. So the way I'm looking at it, the Blues should automatically have a total of 6 or higher based on their current form offensively. And that's why I think there's value on the over. But St. Louis has played four games this season, and there have been at least eight goals in three of the four games. So even defensively, St. Louis hasn't really done a great job. They're giving up 2.75 goals per game, which is fine, but it's not amazing by any means. And when you're scoring that many goals offensively, I do think that five and a half is too low based on the fact that defensively, I think the Kings can generate enough opportunities to score a couple of times in this matchup. But they ended up playing two days ago, and the Blues won that game 7-3. to three. Fascinating game. You had, I believe it was 11 combined power play opportunities. The Blues had four power play goals and a shorthanded goal, while the Kings ended up having uh, no goals via power play. But both these teams are very solid at peppering the net with shots, which, of course, is important if you're going to be taking it over. The Blues are averaging 36.8 shots per game while the Kings are averaging 34.8 shots per game. So I do think you're going to see a lot of potential rebounds, a lot of saves that goalies are going to need to make. And I do think you're going to end up seeing this game probably end up with, I'd say, around six or seven. Now, do I expect it to reach 10 like it did two days ago? No. I think you'll see less power plays. I think you'll probably see a little bit better defense. But sec- but uh, Los Angeles defensively is an absolute mess. And the defense is even worse because it's missing its best defenseman in Drew Doughty who is out with a knee injury. So Los Angeles really isn't going to offer much resistance on the defensive end. And I think that St. Louis defensively is okay. Not great. I think the Kings should probably score two, maybe three here. But the Blues could really score four or five, maybe six if they really want to. Because I really question just how the Kings will have any answers for all of these weapons. You look at St. Louis. I mentioned Tarasenko. He has four points already. I mentioned... Buchanevich, he has two points already. Uh, in the last game, David Perron had a hat trick. They just have so many guys who can beat you in so many ways. I think that you'll end up seeing a really nice offensive performance once again from the Blues in their second home game of the season, as this game should probably end up 4-2, to two, maybe 5-2, to two, something like that. But at the end of the day, this total is too low, which is why I'm going to take it. So the play that I once again here for Monday, October 25th, is going to be on the Kings and Blues over. Five and a half goals at minus 108 on Bet Online. Bye, everyone.